we going? Right. <clears throat> What's up guys, welcome to Supercars of London and finally the Q&A has been uploaded to my YouTube channel. So firstly I would just like to apologise for the lack of uploads. For the last four or five days nothing seems to be going right and even filming the Q&A two days ago on my brand new camera some of the questions have changed due to the course of nature of my emails and different things that have been going on but we'll get on to that. The main reason for this Q&A is obviously two weeks ago I launched a video why am I selling my Lamborghini and there was so much response and so much support so thank you for everyone who has commented on the video, tweeted me, Instagram me, got in touch on Facebook. Crazy enough, Lamborghini have also got in contact with me and I have a meeting with them in Geneva. So that is pretty exciting. That is going to be happening in the first two days of March. So firstly, I'm going to answer a few quick fire questions before getting into some of the more important questions, including what am I considering for my next car? When is the Supercar Showdown video going to be going live? But I haven't done a Q&A for a couple of months, but some of the topics that I want to discuss in this video haven't been discussed for over a year and in the last year the subscriber growth on Supercars London has been crazy so I feel like this is the perfect opportunity to get as many questions answered as possible so let's go. Ace Fox underscore would you rather car spot in Dubai or Monaco? I think Monaco because it's much more condensed and the supercars are closer to me. Car Mad Geek, where will the cars be meeting up in London for Modwall? They're going to be the last weekend of June, the last Sunday in June in Pall Mall. There's going to be more details through modball.com. Jordan Godwin. <laughs> Jordan. <laughs> Jordan Godwin 80, why do you wear fingerless gloves? At the moment, I am not, but the reason I do is because I like using my phones and keeping my hands warm, but not my fingertips at the same time. Prith V222, how tall am I? Five foot 11, but if I spike my hair up or wear a big hat, over six foot. Raf 31 would you scratch graffiti Sam's F-type for a million bucks? <laughs> I'd probably do it for free. What? And just scrub out that white dot on the side of his car. <laughs> Ryan Hill 11, what is the fastest you've gone in your Lamborghini? 70. Mustafa on Instagram has asked Twin Turbo, Mercy Lago, LP640 or the Holy Trinity? I'd just have a LaFerrari, please. Okay, so that is the quick fire done. Now let's get into some of the questions that you guys have asked that require more of a detailed answer. Okay, so first question is actually three questions in one and from seeing underscore cars on Instagram. What is your job? Where are you going to this year? And what is going to be my next car? Well, number three, I'm going to answer later on in the Q&A. But number one, what is my job? So when I came out of university, I really wanted to pursue YouTube as a full time career. I had no idea whether it was going to be able to pay the bills or whether it was going to be a lot of fun. However, I feel like I'm completely living the dream and what I'm able to do. But when I left university, I was more 25% YouTube, 75% doing social media consultancy. So I was helping companies run their Twitter, Instagram, Facebook. So I worked with SB Race Engineering, which I was why I was there for a lot of the time. I also worked with Aspect Valeting and a few other companies running their social media. And up until about six months ago, that is what I've been doing alongside my YouTube channel, which is why I spent a lot of time at SB Race Engineering. However, as a lot of you have recognised, I haven't been there recently because I've just it's been absolutely insane what has happened to the Supercars of London YouTube channel over the past six to 12 months. The subscriber growth is insane and it's all down to you guys. The Supercars of London community is just forever growing, which I'm truly grateful. And the second part of the question is where are you going to this year? And I suppose now that I'm able to put 150% of my time, effort, blood, sweat and tears into Supercars of London, um, let's share some pretty exciting plans that I've got coming up. So firstly, next week I'm going to be in Malaga in the south of Spain with Ford and I'm going to be driving up to the north of Spain into France and across to Switzerland and there's going to be a few activities on the way. We're going to be having a lot of fun and end up in Geneva for the motor show this year. So after Geneva we're going to be in Scotland for a few days driving some pretty crazy supercars. That's going to be with me, Tim, Sam, Seb and James as well, Mr. JWW. Um, then we go down to Italy, into Monaco for top marks, which is gonna be amazing. And we've got a really cool route back up to England. And I suppose 
up until now, they are the plans that I've got. We are planning a couple of months in advance to make sure that we are able to organize the best road trips ever. Jason Stolworthy, any hobbies outside of YouTube? And I know this probably sounds crazy, but this started as a hobby. Supercars of London was me just going into London, filming cars. It has always been a hobby for me. I never feel like this is my actual work, which is the dream scenario, because this maybe could answer a, a few other questions of where my motivation comes from, because this is such a big passion of mine and has been for the last 10 years. I never once feel like I'm working. I never once feel like I'm going in to work and have that sort of sick gut feeling of having to go in and work. I have worked in the past at part-time retail stores and things like that and I get that gut feeling of just not wanting to be there whereas this this is my sort of main hobby obviously I love sport football tennis athletics all sorts of other things but cars is 23 24 7 of my time because I absolutely love it so much so any hobbies outside of YouTube no this next question is quite topical for me sat in the driver's seat of this absolute animal. The Adrenaline on Instagram has asked, Hi Paul, greetings from Singapore. Firstly, I'm highly jealous of the fact that you live in Singapore. I'd love to go there. Ever thought of getting a race license to complement your thirst for speed? Also, have you considered tracking your car on racetracks? Funny you should say that because this is not planned at all. I have got my racing package from MSA this weekend myself. Sam and James, Mr. JWW, are going to be doing some racing to try and get our first racing license. This is really exciting. The first time that I've announced it on my YouTube. Um, so yes, this weekend I'm gonna be up at Snetterton in Norfolk racing with Lotus and then trying to get my race license. Right, now that the Q&A has almost finished now let's get down to the main section of this video over 80 percent i would guess <laughs> you guys have asked what is going to be my next car since launching the why am i selling the lamborghini video let's go for a drive and discuss what cars i'm considering for the next car the nuke staying as well bye Yeah, he, he forgot he needs me in the car to film. I actually need you to come with me with the camera. <laughs> yeah, I thought so. <laughs> Could you unlock it? There you go. Okay, we're going to take it easy. This is my new camera and Sam is currently cramped in the passenger seat of my car. So I apologise for the bumpiness and also the white balance. I have had reports in from Sam that um, it's a bit off at the moment. So we will be playing around with that in due course. But let's get on to my third supercar, if you would class my R8 as a supercar. If not, this is technically my second supercar. So, the Lamborghini unfortunately is having to be replaced because of the plans and the road trips that I've got coming up. So I have said that I want a car with road presence, a fantastic sound, awesome performance, but at the same time is a little bit more comfortable and has 2015-16 technologies built into the car. So with that being said, all of you guys' suggestions have been amazing. I've thoroughly enjoyed reading through some of the comments, some very, very interesting cars that may have jumped the gun on some 12 to 18 month plans. I'll leave it at that. But let's get into the considerations for the Lamborghini replacement. Number one, we have the Ferrari 458 Italia. Maybe not the most comfortable car, it is a supercar and is arguably one of the best cars that has been ever built. Natural, nat blah, blah, blah. Naturally aspirated V8 with a fantastic soundtrack, double clutch gearbox and the Ferrari badge on the front. However, some would say that they are too common and there are a lot of them in the UK and in general. Ferrari have mass produced the Ferrari 458 and there is a lot of them. Car number two is surprisingly the McLaren 570S and this has come off the back of all of your guys' suggestions. So I wasn't considering this car as the next car. It is around 140,000 pounds, which is 
probably out of my price range. But then once you add options to the car, carbon fiber, it can go up to as much as 880 to 190,000 pounds, which is ludicrous money, but it is known to be one of the best new super sports cars of today. Car number three is the brand new Audi R8 V10 Plus. And car number four is the Lamborghini Huracan LP580-2. The Lamborghini is in this because of Lamborghini getting in touch and getting in contact with me, which I hope to see them whilst I'm at Geneva. The Audi, pretty much exactly the same car, just with an Audi badge and 50 grand less. So definitely two considerations to really think about seriously. I kind of think that the Audi has got some depreciating to do because it is brand new and the Lamborghini for me is just slightly too expensive. List price is around £175,000, which again is quite expensive. The next cars on the list are Aston Martins, probably the most suggested cars alongside the Mercedes AMG GTS. So these three cars are slightly within budget compared to the other cars that I've just suggested. The Aston Martin V12 Vantage S, the one that I was able to drive, fantastic car, just unfortunately pretty poor on the fuel economy. Whereas the Vanquish, bit bigger, bit more of a GT car, slightly more expensive. So I do want to get behind the wheel of the Vanquish to see what the new gearbox is like with the ZF. The AMG GTS is all round a really, really cool package of a car. Just is that Mercedes badge a supercar or not? It is a really, really interesting car and I do want to drive it more and experience it more. So this leads on to the supercar showdown video that I mentioned in my competition reaction video. So I mentioned that there's gonna be a supercar showdown where all six cars are tested by me in one video. Unfortunately, I have really struggled to get hold of more than one car. Lamborghini don't have any demonstrators. Aston Martin have sold the V12 Vantage S and potentially have sold their Vanquish demo. The Ferrari I can potentially drive is Sam DeHaan's, a good friend of mine who we did the Ferrari F40 drive through in. I can drive that, but he lives a long way away. The R8, I would love to drive and do need to speak to Audi to try and get behind the wheel of that car, but it has been quite difficult to get in communication with them. And that leads on to the Mercedes AMG GTS and the McLaren 570S. I've got a pretty exciting plan happening in March with the McLaren that could potentially mean I get behind the wheel of the new 570. And the AMG GTS is just trying to find one that I can drive and film at the same time because most test drives at dealerships don't allow you to film whilst test driving a car and considering it to buy. So it is a really difficult project, but I'm working on it. So anyone out there that owns one of these cars that I'm considering that would allow me to drive it to create an epic supercar showdown video, please get in touch because I would love to make this video and I'm sure you guys would love to see what I think of some of the best super sports cars and supercars that are currently out now. So with that being said, that is the end of the q and A. I I feel like I've probably rattled through quite a lot of information. So hopefully you have enjoyed this video. We've touched upon some subjects that haven't been answered in quite some time. And I look forward to reading all of your comments and letting me know what you think about my suggestions for the next supercar. Thank you for watching. Please hit the thumbs up if you haven't already and click that big red subscribe button. And there's gonna be a lot more content to come, a lot more road trips and a lot more supercars. So I will see you soon guys. Take care.